Dead meme. Hey guys, dead meme. Uh, today I'm up in the top left corner so I can show you something in Avorian. So as you can see, I've got my chat open. I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see uh, because of this because of its size. But it, basically, all of that blue text is basically me selling products to the NPCs. So I've made a fair bit of money. If we call up here, I'm at 38 million. So in Avorian, uh, some people have challenges figuring out how to make enough currency or how to get like these these enormous numbers. I could show you a couple methods that work for me. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build some of these stations and set their pricing and all that, but we're going to get to that momentarily. Okay, an easy way to get started is you could find one of these claimable asteroids. When you enter a system, if you've got the special marker, it'll put a little diamond shape with a little circle around it. And that'll let you know that there's a valuable object in the system and there's a chance it'll be one of these asteroids. So I've put some stuff on it. It's I've turned it into a coal mine. And the reason I've done that is because of this ship. This ship has an economy scanner on it. Uh, here it is. So with this guy, when you permanently install this version, you get a, an ability to look at the economy screen. So when you hold down your left shift and click on the, the trade overview, you can see the things that are of high value in the area. So coal was relatively high. So I chose to build a coal mine because of how cheap coal or how uh, cheap building the coal mine is, its initial investment. And coal is used in making steel and a bunch of other things. Like if you went with water, that's great, but you give up an asteroid, which could be producing metals. And you could just simply build a water collector and put it in space, right? It costs more this way, but, you know, it pays for itself over time. So in the trade goods menu, you can ask your station to buy goods from the NPCs, because some stations will require you to have more than one input, such as this water station doesn't require input, just time. So if you have a steel factory... It, there's a couple of ways it can receive its input. There are some that use coal and, and carbon and ore, and there's some that is scrap metal and and coal. And they'll produce their byproduct in which to sell. So you want sell goods to others active, but I don't see any other reason to, uh, to not. So there's actively request. So this is when your station will send out a call for traders to come. To sell to it and there's actively sell goods it's the same thing when this when the station fills up it'll call out for a trader to come so let's look at my solar cell factory so my potato farm requires an input so i've asked my solar cell factory to deliver goods to stations potato farm so let's look at the potato farm So my potato farm has an input of energy cells and water. It'll produce potatoes well, and oxygen, but that's considered garbage. So I've asked this station to fetch goods from other stations, the water collector and the solar panel or the solar power plant. And this will allow it to fill up its inventory with potatoes and oxygen. And of course, this one is doing the same thing. It is selling goods to others and it is actively selling goods. So when it's full, it calls out for a trader to come. Okay, we have traveled to a system with a friendly shipyard. So this is how we're going to build these stations. We'll need to contact the shipyard. We'll ask it to build a ship. Now we need to select the station founder button or nothing's going to happen, the ship won't be able to do that job. So I want to make a carbon factory. And this doesn't matter too much. The, the cost will be different, but it's just basically a random seed and the, the station will generate for you. So build your ship. And as we can see over there, the... So the uh, shipyard has a progress bar under it, so as soon as that's done, we'll warp back home. Okay, my station founder has been completed. 
So I'm going to jump into it. I'm going to order my other vessel to escort me. So these ships, if you don't uh, do anything with them, they are typically very weak. Um, they would not tolerate any abuse for the most part. As you can see, I've got the warning up there. The ship is very weak. And we'll just hyperspace home. And we'll set this thing up. The tips in the loading menu, very helpful. I do recommend trying to read them. Sometimes the load screen finishes real quick and you, you won't feel like reading it. I get it. Okay, we've arrived back in my little economic region. Uh, these ships usually have god-awful power. Yeah, see, I got the blinking triangle up there saying your ship is very weak. So we're, we're in danger if we encounter enemies. But we have the escort of my other vessel. So we need to preferably get kind of close to the other stations because this station is going to require an output from the these guys and the little shuttles that pass between. You'll see like little ships that kind of tick between the two of them or between the various stations. Those are like little shuttles that are delivering material and you'll notice them in the NPC sectors too. So if you're too far away, those little shuttles have to travel further. It's longer for your production times. There's a few methods to get around it with transporters and things like that, but that is... I don't have that much uh, transporter software. This little yellow icon that just disappeared, we'll move back a bit so you can see it. If that is up, you'll be unable to found your station. There it is. So this means you're too close to another station. So likely you. And we'll use the targeting on the bottom right to know when we are at an okay distance. There we are. So when that icon disappears, you can push B. In the top right corner, there's a found station button. It's going to ask you which one. I believe carbon factories are low tech. The requirements on this carbon extractor are potatoes, and I do have a potato farm here. So this will allow you to build something that's designed by some of the uh, NPCs in the game. But if you just do this, hit B and go back into the build menu under the save designs you can build your own factory so let's see what kind of station would I like to build yeah so there we go my carbon factory looks like an asteroid because I'm uncreative you'll need to hire a crew the station will require at least two more people. Here we are. And you should always enter your trade goods menu. I want to fetch goods from the potato farm. I want to sell carbon for its maximum value because in this region it has big value. Only plus 15 actually. So let's... There we go. All right, so on the bottom, as you can see, there's a bar building up. That's its productivity or how long until it uh, has units to sell. So as soon as this bar fills up, we'll see in one of the, there it is, potatoes on the right side there. So I'm gaining potatoes because they're being shipped here and I should be producing carbon, five carbon. There we go. So I requested in this menu for potatoes to be fetched. And they'll be so the shuttles that are built into the stations will go and collect these things for me. I also find it's good to go to the station and tell it to deliver 
as well. So the pods are always busy. The more these things are working, the better. So here we are. Let's go back to my trading ship and look at the economy. Yeah, so carbon trades at plus 20%. So I could push the price up a little bit. So if you cycle down through this, silver has got pretty low demand. And so that would hurt how often the traders come and, of course, the potential value you, you could get. So that covers a very introductory level to the stations. Uh, there is one more thing I can show you uh, as soon as that ship becomes available. So while I've been making this video, I've been making a lot of assumptions, like you know how to access all of these menus and screens. If you're building a station, I suspect by this time you would have a general idea of many of the game systems and how to command your ships and all that sort of jazz. Um, I am going to slowly go over all these other methods. It's just I'm kind of like at that stage now where it was opportune to make the video. So uh, I'm going to do a video on the trading ship on its own. Very brief and simple because it doesn't quite fit with this theme. And I think if you're looking for the trading ship and you're waiting all this time to get there, it would be more of a... It would it, it'd probably be more annoying than anything. So I think I'll call it there, and I'll see all of you later.